Welcome to my channel. This is Vicki. The bird and leaves to the right were made in the last video. The majority of leaves will be used inside of the soap. A few of them will be used to accent the soap topper. The bird is the focal design element for this piece of soap. This is a soap topper. It was made from cold processed soap clay and will accent the top of a bar of soap. I will show you how to make it. I would first like to share with you my design process and the prototypes that I usually make to work out the design. I started with the background and I used the texture mat to make the design. The next background prototype used green and brown soap clay, a texture roller, and gold mica to accent the leaves. On the back I tried a beige mica that has a silver base and I was just fooling around with some words just to see how they'd look on another project. This background was made with the clear stamps. They were pressed into the soap clay and the soap clay was accented with a green and beige mica. With this piece I decided to go with the rolled leaf background and I experimented with the edge. With this one I decided I liked everything about it except the texture that was put on the bezel around the bird. At this point I was pleased with the soap topper and the new texture that was placed on the bezel. The crossed lines of the bezel texture echoes the crossed lines on the leaves. This is a plug of clay, basically a cylinder of soap clay. This marble piece of soap clay was made from two colors of green, two colors of yellow, and I'm deciding which part I like best and it will be the top. The chopsticks are used as thickness gauges. Black to black is six millimeters. The red side, red to red, is five millimeters. I will be using a fondant roller to roll out the clay. The purple thickness gauges on the fondant roller just give me a better grip. My preference is to use deli paper to roll out a piece of sheet clay. Because I have limited hand strength, I use a flat piece of acrylic to initially flatten the clay. Voila, a piece of sheet clay that's six millimeters thick. I will be using a soap template and a tissue blade to cut out a rectangular piece of soap clay that will be used for the soap topper. the sheet clay base for the soap topper. The clay scraps will be saved in plastic bags and used later on. The chopstick thickness gauges are now set at five millimeters. That's one millimeter short of the six millimeter thickness of the clay. The core texture roller and the surface of the clay are both sprayed with alcohol to reduce sticking. A piece of textured sheet clay. Excess clay is removed.
I have chosen a beige mica with a silver undertone to accent the leaves. This piece of sheet clay has been rolled out to one and a half millimeters in thickness. The bird will be attached to the thin piece of sheet clay with soap glue. Soap glue is just CP soap and water. The bird is gently pushed into the clay. This is a needle tool. It will be used to cut the bird from the clay. The clay is pushed into the back of the bird. Soap glue is once again added to the back of the bird. This will help it adhere to the background clay. Now I'm centering the bird on the background before pushing it down to attach the clays. I'm placing soap glue around the edge of the bird. This will help to adhere the green soap bezel to the bird and to the clay base. Soap clay leaves will be attached to the background using soap glue. I use the needle tool to scribe lines or veins into the leaves. The veins will be accented with a brown mica paint. It will give them more depth and more interest. The mica paint is just mica powder and alcohol. The brown mica paint is also used to accent the texture on the bezel. And finally, I'm using a ripple tissue blade to create a ripple texture in the sides of the topper. The soap topper is finished.
the poured soap was allowed to firm up a bit. Otherwise, the soap toppers would sink. At the end of this video, you will see images of other soap toppers I made with the leftover materials from this soap. These are the soap toppers I made with the leftover materials from this soap. I really like this technique. I can see something like this in the future made in an underwater scene. I'll just have to work on that. Thank you so much for watching my little video. Have a wonderful day. And remember, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. That was Albert Einstein. <laughs>